In this video, I will show you how to install GNU Octave on Mac OS. Please stay tuned. There are a few different ways to install, but I am showing you the easiest way to install for the absolute beginners. To install GNU Octave, you can Google it by typing GNU Octave download for Mac in the search bar and hit OK. Then click the very top list. Click Mac OS icon on the top menu. Then click Octave Wiki page. Under Mac OS App Bundle section, you can find Octave App Project link and click. Then it will lead you Octave App website. You can find click here link under Download to download pre-compiled GNU Octave installation file. At the time of record, the latest version is 6.2.0, but it can be changed later. You can hit Save to download. In my Mac, I will save under Downloads folder, but you can save it under the folder that you prefer. Once you're done with the downloading, go to the folder that you saved. Here, I save it in the Download folder, and then double-click Installation file to install, and hit OK with the default settings. If successful, you can go to Finder, Application Folder. You should be able to see a new icon like a blue ring with three orange rectangle icon. When you double click, you cannot launch any Octave because Mac blocks this software. Mac usually blocks the software downloaded and installed from website. To remove this block, you can go to the Apple icon <coughs> System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy. Under the General tab, you can see GNU Octave has been blocked. You can put the check mark for the App Store and identify developers to release this. You can run GNU Octave again from Application folder. In the main GNU Octave window, you have five sub windows. In the center area, you have a command window. On the left side, there are File Browser, Workspace, and Command History. On the right side, you have Editor. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.